have reached the conclusion that the Denver Broncos are completely hosed. So let's talk about a different team uh, and a different quarterback that may have a chance. Uh, much has been made about Lamar Jackson. You know, Lamar Jackson, the Baltimore Ravens. He won MVP uh, in 2019. At 43 touchdowns, as we mentioned earlier, eight turnovers. And the Ravens averaged 33 points a game that year. But since then, they averaged uh, not quite as many points per game. And Lamar Jackson just had his worst season last year, 18 touchdowns, 16 turnovers. We spent the summer talking about will Lamar get a contract from the Ravens. He did not for reasons that have probably nothing to do with play, more about like how contracts are structured, et cetera. Uh, but I was wondering, because this was a guy three years ago, his MVP, and we're talking about, you know, future of the league and how exciting a player he is. I feel like we've been talking about him the same way for the last three years, and I'm wondering if that's what we should be doing. Does he look any different to you than he did three years ago? Has anything changed with him? Yeah, I think he looks better. I think he is better. And so, like, that's what's changed. Yeah. You know, I, I think he is a better quarterback than he was when he took the league by storm. I think the difference is that – Everyone around him isn't necessarily mm -hmm. better. And the team isn't, you know, closing out games better. And they're not doing those things. But I, I don't think there's any doubt. Back when he took over and, you know, was, was playing great, and we're thinking, like, this is the, this is the future of the NFL, um, but the conversation leading into that was, can he play quarterback? Yeah. You know, so I think expectations have changed. And so now we expect him to be unbelievable and take over the game each and every week. And it's hard to do that when things around you aren't better than they were when you took over. And I think you hit the nail on the head, right? That defense isn't a championship defense. Wink Martindale has moved on and, and, and taken his football acumen up to New York. They haven't been able to close games out. So now his winning percentage doesn't look the same. And now you're saying, and then this, we're saying all this, and they've only lost four games. They lost four games right. by four points, and they were up, by, and they were points, up yeah. by double digits in the fourth quarter. Like, the things around him aren't better, right? Usually when you get a franchise quarterback, what do you do? You go get him weapons. The Ravens have failed to do that. He's throwing to Demarcus Roberts and, 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 and Duvernay. Now, I know they drafted Bateman, but that's, that's bringing a guy that you want to develop. They haven't went out and got him his A.J. Brown, his Stephon Diggs, his Jamar Chase. And until they do that, we are going to see the true untapped potential of Lamar Action Jackson. Yeah, listen, I, I totally agree with you, Barb, but I think also just from an identity standpoint, the physicality that the Ravens used to play with, mm -hmm. that's not, it's not the same anymore. Like, those boys up front used to be yeah. dogs and used to, you know, they used to impose their will on people. That's not the case with the Baltimore Ravens, like, particularly on their offensive line. Their defense is giving up, especially in the fourth quarter. So, I agree. Like, like Tim said, the pieces around Lamar aren't playing to what they what they were, like, a couple <laughs> years to the standard that, that the Ravens set out for themselves. All right, so let's take it up a notch. If you were Lamar Jackson, would you want to sign there long term, or would you want to go somewhere else? I, listen, the, the grass ain't always green on the exactly. other side. They, like, like, they, like, think about this: the 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 whole organization has built this thing around you. Yeah. And they took so why on. would you why would you why would you take yourself out of that and go somewhere else where maybe the system doesn't fit you yeah. like it does in Baltimore? Like, I, I think. You can fix the things in Baltimore right. then, rather than take a chance of going out somewhere else where it's just a big unknown. And 31 other teams passed on you, and they moved back up to say that they believed in you. And that, that means a lot to a guy like Lamar Jackson. And to your point about the offensive line, it's not that they aren't capable of playing that way. They haven't been healthy. Ronnie Stanley, yeah. their outstanding left tackle, has been injured. They addressed the, the position with Linderbaum. They went on and got Zeitler from Cleveland. They have the players. They just haven't been able to stay healthy. Last week when they struggled against Jacksonville, because Linder, um, because um, Staley was down and out for that game. I, I just think this. like He's about to sign a massive contract. Yeah. Maybe all of it's guaranteed. And we're talking about, like, they haven't gotten receiver right. They have, like, you, you have to get it right yeah. to put the talent around him. Because once you sign him to that massive deal, right. then you can't you, – you better draft Jamar Chase because you can't go yeah. sign Stephon Diggs well, they, or A.J. Brown. They'll, they'll cut they one of those have, cornerbacks because they spent a lot of money in secondary. They have drafted first-round receivers for they him. Just they just worked. haven't been able to get him to work out. So we all agree that you'd rather have Baltimore's problems than Denver's uh, anyway. Well, we have more.